boys, episode 84. Pez has got a bit of the man for them. I'm on the old Aquarius tone. I'm not sure what that is. Oh. But um, oh. it tastes like shit. Anyway, a massive weekend with Pulse. We've done very well, you know. And then, of course, yesterday, we've just thrown out winners left, right and centre. How good are we? Pump up our tyres. Not a problem. But all of a sudden, I looked down at my old mate, Tone, and he's like Ty Orkin after a same-game multi of the NFL. The NFL. Hey, are you living in the park now, are you, big man? Yes, mate. Yeah, yes. I, I've been evicted from the household. How, how can you be evicted? Did you tell the beautiful <laughs> Chia? What a day. What a week we've had on Pulte. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, no, no. Actually, no, I came outside because it's 17 degrees. It's not cold. Uh, the temperature is going up every day. And I'm starting to get that, uh, getting all the uh, all the vibes after yesterday. You know, six winners yesterday. You pumped out four. We got two last night. You know, like it's all getting that connection outside now, mate. That's yeah. what it is. Well, I'm glad That's you're not living in the park like okay, our mate Ty. But uh, Tassie, welcome to the show, mate. I heard you've been always doing a bit a... tough. Hope you're all right, mate. You uh, pump yeah. out a few winners. We need you. Good on yeah, you, Tess. Yeah, always a pleasure, never a chore. But, yeah, I um I lost my uncle um just a couple of days ago and a bit uh, sad, a bit, yeah. bit tragic, a bit sudden. Yeah. But, um yeah, you know, as long as he rests in peace and everything else, I mean, it will all take care of itself. But um I am quite impressed, though, with um with the glow that, that Tone is bringing to the show. It's like... He's got this aura around him. So whilst I'm doing it tough, it's like oh. I'm staring at an angel. It's looking like, at an angel like, sitting in a park. It's like your uncle shining and Dan on him in Fukuoka, Japan. Oh, it's unbelievable. Seriously. Unbelievable. So right. Tony's on location. He's using his Wi-Fi too, which he usually protects like a oh geez, I don't know, take help me out there. He usually protect it like Tomo and a King Brown at the stand up trying to rearrange his old fella. Like Barney's foot in the bar when it's his shout. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so it was good to see that Barney was all out last night eating a bit of Thai food. Good on you, Jace. Good to see you, mate. You missed out on honkers, but the twins in Cairns didn't. Well done, Geordie and Lukey, you fucking champions. Well, that's Keza, oh, Keza, good on them. Yes. Keza, with, with those um, bets in Cairns, um, those bets in honkers, I mean, yep. you're a bit stiff. Yeah. Because one dead heated. One dead heated, and we still oh. got it. So, so we only got 30 to heat. one the double and it dead heated. We only got 30 with a dead heat. Of a dead heat. But, but imagine without the dead heat, that makes it a 60 to one, doesn't it really? It certainly does. Um, so it was pretty cool. I figured. threw out a couple of tips last night in the bet thread on uh, Wednesday, Pezza's Pickers. Pezza gets Huge. away two out of four, which I'm pretty wrapped about. It looks like it's going to come together. The boys, Team yep. TNT went bangity bang overnight. Don't worry about that. So well, it was we did. big money yesterday for everybody. Yep. And I think if you tip in 50%, it's pretty hard to lose. And then, uh, as I thought, oh, I, I like these two dogs at, uh, you know, Happy Valley. And they're actually, their, their form was incredible. Taz, you wouldn't have yep. put your money on them. But the twins yep. jumped on with Pez and uh, race one it wins, dead heat. Zaggy Pert in the saddle. Unbelievable. A $6 riot winner. With Zach in the saddle, and then yeah, this old Hewitson. I don't even know who the jockey is. Al Hewitson. He rides something that jumps out the eleven bucks. So well done, Huey, fucking champion. Two of the worst races you've probably ever seen in your life, but doesn't matter when they win. Doesn't matter at all. So, but congratulations, well Thanks. done. No um, worries. Yeah, well you're coming, you're, 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 Matthew, you're coming into four, it. Four, I mean, say yeah. that again, Pet. Sorry. Yeah, four, four. Yeah. Four. Four. four out of yeah, the six. Yeah, yeah pretty, yes, pretty stoked about that. And I, I message the boys a fair bit to remind them how good I am. But uh, you're only as good as your last tip, is that's what Mr. Magic Man, uh, Marto, always tells us. So uh, it was good to knock him off in a race uh, for a change, too. So it's great. Now, talking about Saturday's time, me and you, mate, we're fucking poisonous. I have no idea what's going on, mate. Um, you know, Wednesday night over in the UK, you seem like you're fucking Dean Lester. And uh, <laughs> fucking hell, on a Wednesday, I feel like Dean Rioli in his last couple of years at Essendon trying to run. Absolutely <laughs> shit house. Um, so I don't know what's going on, boys. Um, thanks, Taz, like that little uh, Dean Rioli quip. I, I, like I did. I'm just visualising him with number 43 on his back. Yeah, mate, he, he, he was a big unit in the end. He was. Uh, um, 
Titan, the, te- the lad, Titanium lad, what was it called? Uh, something lad, came forth. Imperial lad. Yeah. Imperial lad, came yeah. forth. Jockey uh, error. Jockey yeah. error, right. Um, yeah. Not sure about that either. Um, but the cannon absolutely misfired. It came down from uh, the Hawk stable in Sydney and basically ran like Dean Rioli in his last couple of years at Essendon. <laughs> um, the great freak. You're on the Kiwi Suite in the last. We all took a bit of piss out of you, but geez, it won with a leg in the air. Sure did, mate. Sure did. If we got the early price, it would have been nice. Um, most people, I hope, did. But even if you didn't, it doesn't really matter because a winner is a winner. And um, you're listening to one right now. So thank you. Um, <laughs> um, thank you for, no, thank you well for, done. Allow- the bay, thank you for allowing bay. me to... Uh, well, I want to thank you for allowing me to set the tone from Saturday... <laughs> and to thank you for continuing that on Wednesday and to thank Tone and myself again for completing that on Wednesday night. Yeah. And here we go again. We're going to start all over. But this time around, I'm not going to take the lead. I'm going to let you boys take the lead. Good. And I'm just going to put some icing on the cake. So uh, Jay's talking about Barney. He put on our Facebook page. How nice it is to wake up on a Thursday morning with a bit of cash. Yes. Sports bet account. Uh, so, absolutely. Tone, you're under attack there, mate. No. You're under attack. Under. <laughs> no, there's no dog here. Oh, there's no dog here. No. Dog. That's Archie. Archie. Can you hear Archie? Yeah, we can hear Archie. That's Archie out the front yard. Oh, he's having a great time with Archie. Sounds like yeah. Tone. Uh, yeah, back in the day, Sorry, he was 22 years old, walking around lawn system with his hair get out. We can't mention the nightclub anymore, though, Tess, so we won't. Well, don't, don't used to get no. the gel. What's no, that? don't not, go but, near but, that. No, no, I'm not. But you know, with the gel, I remember because because I know I've got some cousins that used to put a fair bit of gel, or it was the bly cream, and they would start, yeah. especially my cousin Spiro and fucking Stavros, they start like this. And then before you know it, because there was no wastage, they just run it down. Oh, yeah. Just make sure, you know what I mean? Every Real little green. Bit, Real it, wasn't, green. it wasn't just for the top. And it smelled, yeah. had a nice smell too about it. Tony, and the you brute. Find, uh, yeah, wearing the old white, uh, the big low cut shirt down the Lonnie races back in the day. Don't worry about that. Oh. Uh, um, all... uh, uh, we, we hit the quality. You would have loved it. We hit the quaddy, which is uh, Mardo still involved. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, oh, Mardo was a bit salty, wasn't he, last week about last week's show? And he's, he missed out on his little video. And, and he was all like, oh, if you don't want me in the quaddy, don't you don't have to hurt me. And he was a bit salty, <laughs> wasn't he, big poof. Oh, but that's all right. Hey. But we don't mean poof as in, like, we're not saying anything. I love gay people. I really do. I wish I was gay. I, I think I am in a way. But... <laughs> No, I mean, like I said, a big points. A big points is a better word. He's a bit points. Yes. But, but Pezzi, you know what I think it was? Uh, Do you know what I mean? Like, he, he is missing us, and we appreciate yeah. that. Yes. But that's okay, because I think, you know, if you keep putting five and six and seven selections, yep. you, you're bound to stay. So it's okay. Just let yeah. him load up, yeah. and, and we'll go thin, and we'll keep him in. Yeah. And one day... It's okay. We, we, yeah. we do appreciate Marto. Yes. Um, we appreciate all his um, wins and most of his losses. But there's a lot of those. <laughs> but anyway, that's enough. But he is keeping our quaddy strong, so good on him. Good on you, Marto. Uh, <laughs> we've got two yeah. out of the last three weeks of hit the quaddy. Uh, but anyway, we go again. Um, now, I don't know, Taz. I don't know. I might stop the share here. And uh, so... This weekend is a massive day of racing in Melbourne and Sydney. Um, the Chalky Wheel will be up. Don't worry. Yes. You know, you've got a few little fan favourites there. Um, but seriously, uh, I was looking for a bet yesterday at Strith Alban. Jeez, it was hard. And that's for me, like a bloke who had been on two floors going up a wall. It was horrible yesterday at Strathy. Like, I've never yeah, seen a was. worse day of racing in South Australia, I reckon. Yep. Yeah. yeah, well, I, I, I didn't. I mean, I, I haven't played for, I didn't play at all yesterday, to be honest. Um, right through the day, but um, but I did, like I always do, open up and then have a look. And um, 
you know, I, I was expecting to see bloody, you know, Archilao the donkey running, you know, some of those things that I that I was looking at. I, I've, I've seen those at Santorini where they've got the donkeys and they go up and down the mountain. I think some of those were running <laughs> as well. It was terrible. Yeah, it was, terrible. It was, it was pretty ordinary. And, uh, oh. It's funny because it's actually coming into their carnival. Like, as soon as the autumn finishes in the next two weeks, basically, in Sydney and um, – or the next – three weeks really and then it basically Adelaide begins straight away the Adelaide Cups there they, yeah. they got their good word um it all happened yeah. so really quickly but geez I was struggling to get a few around uh yesterday I'd say the truth but anyway big weekend because it's the Australia Cup ladies and gentlemen the Australia Cup um I don't know Another. why it's not a thing you know what I mean like the Japan Cup here is the the biggest race after the, the Kinnan show or the, you know, their group races, the Japan Cup is is massive. Yep. But the Australia Cup, it just sort of lacks a bit of everything, you know. I would say even the Sydney Cup is a little bit more time ordered. But I don't know. I don't know. Thoughts, Tone? Yeah, I think it's lost a bit of a luster, you know. Like, yeah, I think, you know, like you said, the Sydney Cup's a bigger thing, isn't it? Like, it just, it just it's there, but it's not special you know yeah, i don't know i don't know what it is I'm, i, I love know. the australia cup yeah i love it Pezza. yeah i love it so much that it takes me back yeah. to dandy andy and i still right. remember it right i was down at road i was down at rosebud with my yep. girlfriend at the time and a friend of hers right. and um i wanted to have a bet oh and we were just down at the beach oh and they were like i'd oh, stuff you we'll just stop you at a tab for you and you can have a bloody bet <laughs> okay, well, you just stopped. So we went to the Rosebud TAB <laughs> and um, we I jumped in, jumped out sort of thing, got into the oh. car and they said, what did you back? And I said, let me tell you this, if it wins, I'll take you both out for dinner. Oh, oh, and, big um, swinger. It did <laughs> and I ended up taking, I still remember the restaurant. It was called Il Duca. Il it was, um, it's actually on like, it's not, it's sort of Flinders Street, but basically it was right next door to the Hilton in Richmond. Wrong. They picked the restaurant, Boy. and um, I was on Dandy Andy. And Dandy I never, Andy! Ever, I was on Dandy Andy, mate. What was That's it, 100, 101 skins? Yeah, it was 100, actually it was 125. 125. It, it didn't pay that much on a tote because I was on a yeah. tote. But as I said to them, if it wins, I'll take you both out for dinner and you can yeah. pick it. And we went to yeah. this restaurant, um, and it was incredible. So I'll never, ever forget an Australia Cup day. Yeah. As a result of that, so I always make sure I have a bet Australia Cup, even if it means I'm back in a favourite or a roughie, because it it I don't know it just um it warmed my heart and it still does. I think we always mention Dandy Andy when we think about long shots because maybe the Aussie Cup was a bit of a thing back then, but I don't know. For me, wait for age it just takes a bit away. A cup for me is a handicap. Yeah. Uh, someone's giving them weight because obviously they think they're too good, but Maybe as a wait for age race, we always go to the Cox Plate as our big grand final when it comes to wait for age. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, it's a great race this year. There's a lot of chance. I thought um, it's it's not a bad field. Usually the field can be a little bit shy, a bit like Strathalbyn yes. on a Wednesday. But I think it's a bit of a you know. I think Spanish Mission brings it something into it. Um, yeah. So yeah, there's a few there's there's a few there, peasant like. Yeah, you know the the, the blue battler, the blue battler, Spanish yeah. mission. There's Cascades, a couple of these imports. Um, yeah, the, the imported ones. Yeah, yeah. Down the bottom. Yeah. Um, Pez, I'm pretty keen on the twelve. On uh, I don't know how do you say it. Uh, Tone speaks French. How do you say that, Tone? Tone <laughs> speak French, mate. You no, do. No. no, I don't. Uh, 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 Dua, Dua. Dua, maybe? Dua. That, that sounds that sounds a bit like it, yeah. Tony can speak French. You can order sausages and chips. I told you that last <laughs> week. Sausion <laughs> fritti. Tony, the language of love. Uh, uh, the only reason why, chased home a good one last start. I think it's uh, hoof on the till. It's one up, third up in the pass. It's looking for the 2,000 metres. They're not bringing it down for a haircut. I don't know if it's got the class to get over the couple up the top, but... I tell you what, she'll be charging on with a couple hundred to go, and let's hope she'll be 
front She'll of She'll be charging on, mate. If your if your bloody horse gets up, surprise baby, big boy. I tell you what, and I'm gonna have to have a couple on. of you know, I'm gonna have to have a couple of bucks each way on surprise baby at 34 skins. I think it's I've already boosted it to 51 today, so beautiful. Um, uh, she's a prick of a horse and should be retired yeah. to tell the truth. But there's a surprise, but surprise baby was a good run last start. Now, how could you ask? Yeah, you know, how do you want to pronounce it? Du- dual ass or something? But dual yeah, ass. You know, anyway, anyone, you know how you said it'll be running on? It will. I tend to agree because mm-hmm. the race will have finished, everything <laughs> will go on past, and it'll just keep running on because it's going to have to hit the line eventually. So you're right. <laughs> so I look, I don't know, but yeah, you know, that's my quaddy leg, by the way. So yeah, very hope you got it in the quaddy. But anyway, Tony, you like she's ideal coming down for uh, the Kiwi Swede coming down from Sydney after a Jesus Christ, she uh, she nearly uh, broke a lot of hearts last start, didn't she? Yes, yes. You know, I, I think like with Jamie on board, and like you said, the Kiwi Swede got to got to have a ready. She have a real crack, you know. Uh, well, I think she's looking for the two thousand meters, but she nearly knocked off very elegant. She only stride away. It was a bit yeah, like Shelby sixty six against Eduardo. Oh. oh yeah, that was a big run too, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, was a massive. Wasn't run. a lot in between them at the end of the uh, the post, uh, but very elegant. What a horse, you know. After the Melbourne Cup, some horses never come back. Hashtag uh, what was that fucking vow and declare or whatever old Mardo's favourite. And, uh, oh, Craig Williams stuffed that. Yeah, the best lay of the century that was when it came yeah. out again and they backed it off the map. Very elegant comes back and just wins a group one. <laughs> Freak. Good on. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Taz, you're on the blue battle up the top. Good luck. Right. Look, look, I am. I think it's it's got the class. I think um, this preparation, it's actually come in well. And um, I, I think it can win. I think this is where we will now say... This blue battler has cemented its spot as a um, as a really really worthy Group One winner. Right, uh, Barno, Barney's on Dandy Andy, but not the Dandy Andy the horse. Oh, he's on Dandy Andy. Yeah. Andy. <laughs> so he's is that Handy Dandy Andy? Go down, Dandy. Go down, Barney. You prick. <laughs> uh, boys, we're gonna skip Marno there. Anyway, the double fist is now a single fist. The race eight, number eight, Eagle Farm, and a good four. How is that possible? Starla. A lot of wind up there. A lot of wind. But Starla wind. is the is the one. Look at the first of all, look at the price. So I'm, Love I'm the throwing price. out some, you know, single figure ones. It's time to go bang. Yes. That's what I mean by putting some icing on your cake, boys. So this thing here was extremely outclassed last start in the Triscate. It ran <laughs> down the track, didn't do anything. However, it's dropping back in class. Ooh, okay, like there's, a, there's a race here where there's a bit of genuine speed on, which I think will suit. Um, it has, you know, I mean, it will handle wet and dry. So even though it's a good four, that's okay. But what I like is it comes in on the, on the minimum at 54. I think it's way over the odds. Mm. And I honestly think that um, it's a huge chance. Wow. No horse. For, it's fourth up. It's one fourth up, I'm pretty sure, as well. Wow. Um, I, I just, I don't know. Sometimes things just come out of the blue for you. And yep. this one here, it's for me. Samantha Collett, last time I had her, I'm only scared because remember when she got on self-indulgent and she had it too wide? Yep. I think that this will be a similar type of ride. Right. Except I just hope she's not caught that wide when she's, Working out to come over the top of them. Yeah, I like it. A, a Waller horse and around twenty skins in uh, Brisbane. I, I don't reckon get on now because I reckon she's going to shorten up. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I don't know. I just I, I really like it. And I will I will be playing myself. I mean, I normally do, but but at that price, like it's worth it. it. Like if you're not confident and you don't want to listen to me because you think I'm full of shit, that's okay. Then just back her for the place. Do you know what I mean? Because you're still going to get five to one. If you get on early, yeah, no, I agree, so, mate. Yeah, no, got a good, no, not full of shit, mate. Good jockey and bloody Waller always pulls out those big long shots in the in races. He gets them up. Yep, gets them well, up. You know, we've, we've they've, they've been affected the races up there, 
So when you can't race, how do you make money? Get the lucky long shots up. Exactly. There they are. Uh, we're back so, to Flemington yep. from Quaddy. We're pretty excited. Taz is up and about about a 20 to one up. If he hits, uh, we all are happy because we all win um, a, a good good lot of money, especially 20 skins. Don't worry about that. Um, hopefully the price doesn't come in too much because Tone will have his fucking $5.50 on it and blow it out of the water. And... So, Tone, calm down, Tone. Just don't unleash the beast. You know, keep the cracking in before everyone can get on. Oh. Don't, don't release the cracking tone. Hey, Tone, what's the traffic like there? Have you, have you, are there any birds that you've seen that have sort of caught the eye whilst you're out there? Here, mate. Here, mate. It's like uh, uh, a uh, episode of uh, Gorillas in the Mist. Nothing's coming past here worth noting. You know, like <laughs> if you've come past it, won't have to get dressed up for Halloween. Put it that way. So there's not Are a they, lot to look at. Is that because maybe they're scared of you or is that because that's what's there at that fun park? Oh, that's what's there at that fun park. It wouldn't be me, mate. You know, the, I, I'm, I'm just a love magnet, you know. Uh, bloody, oh. they'll be all flock around me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Oh, have, you got a, have you got a brown paper bag with you? Yeah, I can feel better, Taz. I've got a bit of man flu. I've got my fishing hat on. I've got my fishing hat. That's the most important thing. You don't have a you don't have a um, an alcoholic beverage just to keep your throat lubricated. Not yet, but I'll be going up to check the shop a little bit later to make sure that they're all the right temperature, and I might have to sample it up. Perfect. You know? That's what I want to hear, Tony. That's what I want to hear because seriously, you, you, that that aura you're presenting right now. I mean, you've got that orange. Uh, that, that top's not really orange. It's probably brown, but the, the glow, it's making it orange. It's beautiful. Oh, yes. Uh, just I mean, more about that, Billy, that Billy Madison movie when, you know, when he's giving the speech and it sort of sounds all right and he goes, we are now all dumber than we were three minutes ago and that's how I feel right <laughs> now. And uh, um, if you would love to like and subscribe for more of that content, please do. Um, I know it's a bit strange having a red button there that sort of scares everybody, like my dad. Um, he goes, oh, Chris, it's red. That means it's wrong. I'm like, no, dad, it actually means subscribe. Then my dad was really confused because he thought he'd have to put his name and, and give his address and his information to Google. And I said, that, dad, they've already got it. You know, they don't need it. All you got to do is click the like and subscribe and turn the little bell on for the notifications. So the old man was a bit gun shy, but please like and subscribe if you'd like more of that. Yes, please. Yes, absolutely. We need absolutely, to... absolutely. Um, oh, anyway, dear. guys, uh, we get to the quaddy. One, two, three, fourteen. I think the winners up the top. Uh, you never know. I've thrown in the one at the last minute. Gets us our thirty-two bucks for the ten percent. So we're not costing you too much in Australia. Time. What does thirty-two dollars buy you? Not much. No, no. <laughs> Be lucky to buy a shout at the bar for four blokes, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's a good point. I don't know. Yeah. Um, anyway, we're on the Mask Crusade, the big one, the big, the big class horse at the top. Um, from Barrier 13, I think it's in the right part of the track. Drawn out. I think they're all going to come down the outside. How did Willow go last week for you, Tazzy? Willow? Yeah. How did What's he wrong go? With Willow, mate. Where did, Where did he go? Where did he go? Did he go down the, the, the rail or did he go down the outside, you little mate? Why do you dislike him so much? Well, he's a prick. Like, why would you no. why would he go down the rail? It's, it's a very willow thing. I'm going to do exactly opposite to what everything tells me to do. And yeah, but I, you don't know what the, you don't know what instructions he's getting from the from the train or in the well, other. I don't reckon the train is going to go. Hey, can you go down the slowest part of the track? That'd be great. Well, well, he is if he wants his horse beat, and yeah. we don't know about it. What was the I horse? Mean, you had be... a little place bet on it, your biggest bet of the day. What was that? Yeah, uh, Express, um, ex, uh, express Craft ex, or stuff, was it? No, it was an Extreme Choice, Express Choice, something extreme. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, last week there was a sprint race down the rail. He takes it down the rail. They all run down the outside. Um yeah, paid third, mate. It paid three dollars. Uh, well, I reckon if it ran where the winner ran, it probably would have won by three. Yeah, but you can't. Yeah, but hang on, it depends because he's got to get out of there 
and go out there. Oh, so geez. sometimes he took me straight to the rail. He took me straight to the rail. It was shocking. Fuck, yeah, because it was a clear path for him. You can't go. I mean, sometimes yeah, it's like when you're driving your. It's like no, when the... you're driving your car. Do, no, you, do, the... do you put your indicator on and try to get out, or do you just sometimes zoom up on the inside? No, the horse went there. That's why. <laughs> oh, That's why harsh, I had a clear you. path. Oh, you've been a bit harsh on him. Oh, well, I, look, about, I, my, I had about money his... on him. He, he, he's running a drum. I'm happy. Yeah. yeah I reckon I'm he's not as straight as Roy Higgins was. Handbrake oh. Harry, one of the oh. worst jockeys in Australia. Oh. Biggest criminals pulled up that many favourites and good horses in his time. Yeah. Dodgy. Yeah. Wayne Trelaw. What was that other one? Oh. Weymouth was his name. Yeah. Another criminal. Yeah, Normie, oh. Normie, Normie Weymouth. But you know what? Yeah. The thing that I found with all those blokes, yeah. and, and I used to use them as jocks. I mean, I even, even had Spatch White. If you remember Spatch as well, he's another one. But everything oh. is legal. Everything <laughs> is legal unless you get caught. Well, everything is legal unless you, you, you get swabbed. So everything that they were doing was legal because they never got in trouble. They yeah. never got done for, um, for yeah. race fixing or anything like that. They yeah. used to ride horses perfectly up the arse ends of others. And it was all legal. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Criminals. But, uh, anyway. but uh, no, he's all right. Don't worry about Willow. He's all right, mate. Uh, don't, uh, be, don't be like that. I like uh, him. I don't mind him. He probably uh, even watches our show and he's, you know, you guys are just, you, you guys just ruin the self esteem, okay, of short uh, people who ride the horses. Okay, let's move on. Tassie, <laughs> you've got ones, two, three, and 10. Yep. yep. So looking at these numbers, um, you can see that I didn't have, I don't have. She's ideal. No. And you can see I don't have do ask. Do ask. So, so the bottom line is I don't have them, but I have gone with the one, as I said, Cascadian. I think it's probably um, the class horse of the field. Yep. I, you, you just can't leave out the two. No. Think it over. You just cannot. So don't think that one over a lot. If you're going to go one out, that, that might be your go. The yep. market does say $3. Spanish Mission. Spanish Mission first up wasn't that bad a run. And I think with the moody influence, down here, I think um, even though we've learnt to appreciate Spanish Mission over more ground, yep. I think the Australian touch of Moody will probably have him, I don't know, better prepared to run over these, you know, mile and a half and stuff like that. Yep. And the <clears throat> overseas horse that I threw in is that number 10 Maximal. Yep. Um, he's been here since October last year. He had a run, failed. He's come up first up. He was very, very poor. Um, but I'm prepared to say that he's ready to to produce something. So he's my knockout chance. Yep. Um, he's the horse that I will probably follow out of this race, even though I'm not prepared to back him straight out. But, um, yep. yeah, I think really it's out of the one and two. Uh, in the new market, a great time-honoured race. I, I forgot to talk about what's that. Um, I love a Corsten's horse because I've been involved with the Corsten's with owning with you. Um, it was a huge run, first up over a 1,000 against Nature Trip and Eduardo. Yeah. Uh, home Affairs and the extra 200 suits to a T. It's drawn out. I reckon uh, we're a half a chance at getting some really good value up. Gee, there's some ghosts in this race at Newmarket. Poland, Tony, Count the Rupert. Oh. Really won me a shit ton of money. Um, yes. So it's wow. a great yes. race and so it should be. Um, it's the Newmarket. Um, it should be a bloody good race too. Um, okay. So what do you think of September run? What do you think of September run? Uh, I can't have it, mate. It's like um, I just can't. I, I, too many times. Okay. Too many times, mate. I, I just, no, as you said, it might be an autumn horse. That, you yeah. might be one hundred percent right. In the autumn, it looks like uh, Godzilla, and uh, it looks like Bambi in the spring. So you might be right, yeah. mate. Mm. But uh, you might be right. Anyway, we will go back to Hamato. Here he is. He looks a bit sad. Here again this week with the addition of the body. Um, pirates, you've got to be getting on these boys. They're um, they're hitting winners everywhere. Uh, Australia, Hong Kong, UK, they're all coming in, aren't they? Um, well, enough about them. Let's get on to oh. my quaddy lead this week. Uh, I've gone. I love my Enough about them. You like that? Look at them. They're getting on winners, but enough about them. Enough we'll, about we'll them. Talk about Tony. me. It's all about me. <laughs> One, three, five, six, and nine. Uh, start with number one, Junipal. Uh, hit the line really strong last start. That was first up after 12 months. 
Uh, I think he's going to be winning again soon. Is this the one? I'm not sure, but I can't leave him out at the price the way he ran on last start. He attacked the line really good. Uh, kiss on all four cheeks. She comes over from WA. Um, not sure how the form's going to line up in Victoria. Uh, does get Mark Zara on, which is not bad. Um, she is a group one mare, though, so that makes her the top raider in this field. Um, going to get a sweet ride from uh, Barrier 8, too. Um, expect her to run midfield. If Mark Zara can keep her out of traffic, then, uh, of course, she's a chance. Uh, Crosshaven. Crosshaven can't leave her out with Luke. Crosshaven? What's he doing? I don't know. I think I think I think he's kissing Crosshaven on all four cheeks. When did Crosshaven last run a decent race time? I haven't heard of that horse for quite a while, actually. To be honest, I haven't heard. Yeah. I, I haven't kept up with Crosshaven. That's for sure. I don't know much about it. Um, um, forget the last run at Caulfield, but he did run. With I think he forgot the name of the horse. Strong at Flemington a couple back and expect more of that again today. Uh, Milton Park can't leave out of the price. Um, Milton Park? He's wow. a little bit hard to catch first up, but... A little bit hard to catch? I thought he was racing in South Australia, Tats. Yeah, well, he's, he's pretty hard to catch if he's in South Australia or anywhere, but goodness <laughs> me, he's, um, I don't know, Milton Park. Milton Seriously. Park, Crosshaven. Wow. wow. Hey. Oops, we've lost him. Bring him back. They are finding it hard to run on. Then he yeah. may be hard to run down. Oh. Um, can't leave him out, especially at that price. Can't leave and, him out. Um, Jared Fry, has got a uh, 50%, 50 percent win rate with this horse as well. There you go. Uh, Shalo. Can't leave out Shalo as Shalo. well. She's unbeaten first up and doesn't mind the 1,400. Um, I think she'll get a um, – she'll be ridden cold out the back. And uh, if they are running on, then uh, she could come over the top of them late. Good luck. Enjoy. Good on you, Mardo. Well done, Mardo. Hey, Pezza, I don't mind Shalo. I yeah, don't mind well, Shalo. I don't mind the, the, what are they called? The old Simon O'Donnell colours, the One World or whatever they're called. They're not bad. Uh, Crosshaven, that's a bit of a surprise. I, I thought it's been running really, really, really plainly. But um, obviously, Mardo knows. He's uh, he, he, he knows because he's Mardo. So, you know, uh, yeah, you know, Personally, personally, personally I'd probably go down to the... What's that? I don't mind Shalo. I mean, yeah. I've, that's, that's, I, I actually don't mind Shalo. As oh. to how he found Milton Park and how he put in Crosshaven, yeah. um, I don't know. Yeah. You know. Crosshaven out of Barrier 12 as well. Yeah. Um, crikey's See, Milton Park. I, well, you know, I thought if there's, there's bias on for the front pace, more Vardy you've got to put in. Because Morvada's just going to go straight to the front and try and break their hearts. Yeah. So, yep. you know, there's your horse there too, Tony. He's left that out, Rich Hips. Oh, oh, oh. brings back memories. Actually, oh. one a while, oh, a long time ago that was. That yeah. was I used to tip winners a couple of years yeah. ago, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a, quite, it, it's a tough race. Um, there's a lot of ghosts in it, but um, I'm surprised that he couldn't find maybe a couple down the bottom. Um, to be, to Even ground. Crossing. What about groundswell? It's raced in better. I mean, some. It's had some, two good races in. Yeah. Decent opposition. Yeah. You know what I mean? What about um, Jamie Carr, Mick Price, and our Playboy? Uh, eight no deal done. Damien Laid, the Freedmans, um, more Varda. If there's any going to be any bias towards the the front, like holy shit! But Look, you know, you he, can't he, put them all in. No. Well, he, he tried. <laughs> he has tried. But the video he sent through was only two minutes. We uh, had to modify it back because otherwise it would have gone for 15 because he would have put all uh, 15 runners. Yeah, Tony's got a really tough race, but he's got the winner here. Horrible so race. I'm very happy. You've got the winner, Tone, so don't worry. Two, five, six, and seven, big boy. Yep, yep. Oh, well, give us a run through. What do you think? I'm really, really worried about this race. This is a. Uh, you know, I've got no real favourite here. I do like Cardigan Queen, Cardigan Queen with uh, Johnny Allen on. That's That would be my top pick. Yeah, me too, but, mate. I think Cardigan Queen's the winner. If you want to go one out the last, if you want to go be a real big hero and show your mates how good you are, Johnny Allen in the last and Maren Eustace, I think you're onto a fucking winner there, big boy. I think. Is, 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 there not an omen, hey? is there not an omen for him today? I mean, he's sitting out in the park. When the sunshine, I mean, he could be 
picking the daisies. Oh, yeah. Oh, there, there is an yeah. omen in this race, Taz, down the bottom. Yeah. Number 14, set the sails. He's coming up to spring, big boy. Get her out on the ocean there. Eh? Oh, well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, you haven't, you haven't put any of those in time. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I didn't like them. No. The only one I'm a little bit surprised, you didn't put in Lena's Legend, uh, one of our favourites here at Pulte, a uh, little later yeah. up in Cairns. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I like chocolates. She's good. Oh, that's oh. tasty. Yeah, lovely. Lovely Lena. Lovely Lena, hello, but, uh, Lena. You've left her out, but uh, that's okay. Um, okay, now, Tone, uh, we used to, everybody used to watch the show for you, but uh, here we go. Flemington, race three, number six, give me par. Par with car in the saddle. Can't lose, you said. Oh, very, oh this, yes, I'm really uh, confident that there's a possibility I may pick a winner on Saturday. May, yeah. may. You know, give me par with Jamie Carr and then off to the bar, like, you know, yeah. uh, one of Moody's horses. Loves, yeah, really, really goes well fresh, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. really good for horse first up and has a crack. Nice. Down the big track there, Jamie will be. She's on board. Give her a bit of a tickle at the right time, and away we go. That's what I'm no. hoping. No, okay. Tony. No jockey ever this time. Uh, well, if uh, look, Jamie gets three chances, um, and on the big track, Taz, I'm pretty confident on the big track at least. If she can get get a run, she won't pull it up the ass of something else like all these other. I, I like it. I do like it, but but it's just that I know how you feel about some jockeys, and I know how how Jamie is very special to you. And I'm just wondering whether if this is a victim of circumstance next week, I don't want to hear you say jockey error. I want to hear you say something else because you can't have a crack at your lovely lady, can you? Well, it all depends on what happens, you know. Like, yeah, but yeah, no, she's a professional. She'll be. Uh, out there having a crack, not a lot, not like a lot of these other oxygen bandits that are, you know, taking a ride that shouldn't even be out there. Like Willow, you know, he, manacles. He should be wearing them, you know, every day of the week. That bloke, unbelievable. I don't know how much money he's cost Pedro and I a fortune. That guy. You can't Definitely. be speaking bad terms about Craig. Craig's Craig's a lovely fellow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, all yours. All yours, Pezza. Okay. Yeah. Welcome back, boys and girls, and uh, our beautiful Rose here. Uh, now, well done. Tone's gone back to one of his old favourites there, going back to Jamie Carr, picking her best ride of the day, supposedly, Tone, yes? Yes, yes. Okay. So straight to the bar, Jamie Carr. It's going to be like a morning to an Airbnb over here in sunny downtown Fukuoka. Maybe Tone might be able to take the missus out and uh, <laughs> give her a little bit of what's not uh, when Gimme Pa uh, salutes in the third. Now, the funny thing is, Tone, I was uh, following you in this week. Uh, you and Tassie last night, Team TNT at Kempton. Time on it. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. You've thrown out a little running double. Is that right? Race four, race five, bang, bang. Yes. Yeah. That's yep. right. Yes, it well, is. Well, I thought to myself this week, I'm going that bad. I'm going to try to find where Tone's going to go and I'm going to slip in right before him, All right? Because I've got to make room for the great man, the big man. So <laughs> I'm going to find a race and I didn't care where Tone went. And I was going to tip in the race before him. So he gives all the Pulte Familiar the running double, a little double. <laughs> the running lay double. Yeah, so... I did like Cardigan Queen in the last, and I really liked a couple in Sydney, but on a heavy 10, I'm steering away from my old uh, – there's a couple I really liked up there. But um, I thought, no. What was it Raul? Remember Raul, the, the, the European horse? I got 18 to 1, the place, Tassie. Yeah, it's, it's a good chance again this yeah, week. Yeah, big Six bucks. Ooh. It's going to come yeah, from last chance. and go bang. But no, yeah. I thought to myself, wherever he goes, I'm going to get him before him. Where have you, what, so have you gone in the race before him? Yeah, race two, flew to bank. Easy. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel left out. No, <laughs> if no, 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 no. On a Saturday, what, what, you're, you're like fucking Marta. You're like 
Oh, hang on. Think I don't, no, wait, 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 wait. I've got to correct you there. Don't say I'm like Marto because I don't throw out 18 units and bring back two. I throw out a couple and win. Don't be like that. No, I'm only joking, Marto. You know oh, I am. Marto. <laughs> you know I am. Now, now. No, you're too good for us. Like, I'm getting yeah, right away from yeah. you, Tassie. You're, you're at 50%, big boy. You're nearly at 50% this year. You know, you throw out two yeah. tips, one of them wins. I'm, no, I'm steering away. So, I'm going to Toad. I'm going to poison. If we're going to poison, we're going to poison together. Just how this show started, Tony. <laughs> About two poisonous blokes on the punt, bringing misery to the familiar. So... I've followed you in. Race two. Put it out. I want to see it. And it's got Toad written all over it too because he puts all those stupid fucking 70s and 80s music up in the Facebook page and he expects all these young bugs to know who they are. Fleming Room, race two, number nine. It's a groovy kind of love. Mickey Kent, J-Mac in the saddle, 650. Ooh. We're stealing money. Criminal. Yep. Or oh, criminal. For, yeah. yeah. J-Mac. So you've gone, you've gone a J-Mac. And all the young blokes, mate, Carr. that's what they've got Perfect. YouTube for, you know. What's that? All these young blokes with this new thing, the internet, that's what YouTube's for. Have a look back. Right. You know, 70s, Ooh. 80s, Who's the criminal, 70s. J-Mac? Yes, he's pulling, been pulling up a few. I don't know whether I'd, uh, yeah, you know, he might get one early in the day, 650. Yeah, could do. Well, you know, you know, you got to get a run on the big track, not find another horse's ass to follow up, you know. Uh, well, can I, well, Pezza, yes. I just want to say one thing because I, you know, how I love my numbers. Yeah. But, but something I did notice because I always look, yes. your number not your number nine, yes. barrier two, yeah. 11. Yes. Oh. Just flick back to Tony's. Oh. Number six, number six barrier five. Number seven. five, 11. <gasps> now, wow. if you remember also, wow. last week we were talking about J-Mac and Jamie, you know, how they were looking at each other and stuff. Yes. And you've got them here again. So I reckon you two boys, oh. you've got it right. I reckon you've right. got it right. The stars have aligned. Oh. Um. <laughs> Um, two massive gear changes, Tony. This is what steered me in. Two massive gear changes. Are you ready, Tony? Yep. Now, I know you're fucking old and I know you've got dementia and shit, but I'm trying to help you out here. Two gear changes, Tony. Number one, blinkers. Right. That works. Yep. Blinkers on for the first time. Off. On. Right. On. Mm -hmm. I like them on. Right. Okay. Right. Keep him honest. Yeah, I'm trying to keep Tony involved here. I know he's going to float off in a minute. I know more about fucking gear changes than you, mate, because, right. you know, I'm a UK specialist. So right. they're always on the gear changes there. Okay. So the second big gear change, on. You ready, Tony? Yep. So number one, what, what's the gear change? Blinkers on. Thank you. Number two, J-Mac on. I knew you were going to say that, yeah. Oh, well, yes, yeah, the money jock, the money jock. So, geez, I hope he gets the job done for you because mate, it's the running doubles of certainty. Mate, he chased home Yonts last start. Now, I reckon if Yonts was going to be running this week, it would have been about how much? Yeah. A dollar? Yeah. Yeah. Like, Yonts absolutely brained him in the last leg. Groovy kind of love, got it to him, 0 0.8 legs. This race, there's no Yonts. I know they got Flying Mascot, which is a pretty good horse. But Jamie on Fly Mascot, she's going to be like, oh, 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 oh. and then Groovy Kind's just going to come past and J-Mac again and just go, see you later, Jay. Car, straight to give me par, straight into you, Tone. Bang, we've got the running double. How do you like my thinking? That is, I think that's, a, that's very a, absolute. The strategy is perfect. 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 Absolutely. Yeah, so running 20, double there. Thirty bucks winner. gets us back a little multi, and then of course a big six hundred jumps in for the three of them. When Tazzy oh, salutes yeah. at twenty skins, but you're not going to get twenty skins on Saturday with Starla. Starla, you're not. No, no. no. we move, we move markets here. We know that. Our our family, our familiar, they know that as well. But um, I'm really, 
I mean, I, I was tempted to put the phone down um, and just get over to the computer and just get me um, get me double on early because I'm really excited by that. Okay. I really am. I'm genuinely excited. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Well, great. Thank fight, you. Finding my best is costing me money. So, you know, usually my best is the biggest bet of the day for me, and it's been absolutely atrocious since uh, I was for. Luckily, we throw out a couple of winners during the week to help everybody out. But uh, if not, thanks, like, and subscribe. Uh, it's been a great day. The footy kicks off. The real footy kicks off uh, next week. Next week. Next Wednesday, yeah. Yep. Wednesday night, I think it's the um, grand final replay. But um, yep. And then on Thursday, it's um, the night that Carlton stamped their authority over Richmond. Oh. Um, for the first time in oh. God knows how many years. That's okay. No, no. Oh, hear, hear me out. But, oh. but, 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 but I think, versus Tony. I think, yeah. Oh, well, we know who wins that every time. <laughs> Yeah. It's it's and it's and it's not AJ over beauty either. Okay. Uh, but, actually, um, you've probably got more hope I, than you've ever had this this this, oh, this game. Ab Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, the last but, ten um, years you've just been destroyed. But, no, we haven't no first game we've been always been competitive. Yeah. So that yes. way we get the members in. Yeah. And then after that we tend to fall away. This oh, year, I reckon it's no. all right, we'll be okay. I reckon, we will be I know Lenny, happy birthday, Lenny, uh, Christian Leonard from Geelong. Happy birthday, mate. Love you, but you're a flog. Um, um, I reckon the one thing that Carlton's been missing for about three decades is hardness. And I reckon finally you got some blokes that can put their head over the ball because yeah. uh, before you're about as hard as Mark Murphy, which is like my stomach, like it's fucking marshmallow soft. And if you think Mark Murphy's a hard footballer, you need a real good look at your list. So I honestly think you're a hush, man. I, no, Mark you're, Mark you're, Murphy, like, fucking how many tackles did he have in his career? Jose Romero had more tackles than him in his one game. Like, Jose Romero, geez, you're bringing back some beauties now. Yeah, hey? it was who, who was part of his world squad? There was him. Liver. Liver and Dimitina, wasn't it? Yeah, Paul Dimitina. There you go. Yeah, uh, big Paulie. He's actually doing it a bit tough too, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, Paul Dimitina hasn't been too well um, recently, so hopefully he's out of hospital and stuff. Um, oh. Something that uh, that I heard because he does own a few restaurants, um, yeah, right. even with his old man and stuff. But yeah. Yep. But there are a lot of people doing it tough in Australia at the moment. That's um, right, Pezzer, and even even a, a little bit of a calling out to one of our um. To one of our followers who follows the um the UK bet spread who's been affected by the um by the floods. Oh no. So there's uh, a few there's a few people there. I mean we yeah. we have followers all over um all over the world. Yeah. Um but there are people that are doing it tough and I know that um you know I can I can say yeah I've had a tough week but um right. you know everyone's everyone's got a story and to all those people that are doing it tough Rosie included. Um, yeah. yep. You know, yep. our, 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 you know we, we always send positivity. So yeah. whilst we try, I know I try to try to bring a little bit of um, a bit of fun to the show, a bit of a smile. Yep. Um, I see yep. if I can get an extra wrinkle out of Tony's forehead because it just came on there. Sorry, Tony, but yep. you left <laughs> over and I just saw it. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, yeah. to all the people doing it tough, um, I hope we um, continue our. Um, our good fortune from 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 Wednesday. From Wednesday was a great yes. day, a magical day. Yeah. Uh, Singy or uh, Kelvin Sing, uh, yeah, a bit of a shout out, mate. I, I hope you're going all right, and um, yeah, don't be ever afraid to reach out. But uh, well done, and uh, thanks, boys. Uh, so we've got uh, Groovy Kind of Love Tone. Um, I'm already got the song tuned up for that, and then um, we've got Gimme Par, and then of course in the Starla. Be an epic day plus a massive quaddy because there's value in every leg. So, um, yeah. have, have you found anything sneaky anywhere else? Like you haven't gone to Darwin or Toowoomba or Cairns or there's always Inverell, a couple of sneakies. There's any, always anywhere a couple. like that. Actually, or Armadale. I really like Cardigan Queen in the last. Tony's already tipped it um, in our leg of the quaddy. I reckon it's just hoof on the till, ready to win. A bit like Groovy kind no. of. Love. Nothing out at Port Hedland or no, well, or one of like my that. favorites is Fangirls running around at dollar eighty. I don't think I can tip that. Um, Fangirl? Yes. I, I actually do I, I like it because I've got a little taster. All and right. I think um so Fangirl into yep. Espiona. Race six into Espiona, Sydney, race yep. eight, 
Espiona down the bottom. I think it's number fourteen at about yeah, it's about, about three dollars. Yeah. Into um, I don't know if you want to pronounce it, um, but you know Bernard or Beno or how you want to pronounce it. But I know Beno. you spruik in your last year for a place. So I reckon um, I might have a little um, little crack at that. It's you know probably get close to eighteen twenty to one. Just so go win win place because we all know okay. how good Fangirl is and how good yeah. Espiona is. And and I'm going to back your judgment from last year where <laughs> you thought you know this well, this horse should be doing something. So I'm going to back you in. Yeah. Um, this week. I've all, I've, all, I've still got a Ooh. very old AJC Derby bet on Beno. Um, <laughs> so it should be trying to do something this week, and uh, it's third up. I think it's fourth, third up. So it's Terry yeah. Wright. So hoof on the tilt. So uh, Fangirl race six, Espiona race eight, into the place on Beno. You might be a bit of a sneaky chance or 18 to 20 skins. I like it. Tone, anything else, mate? Yes, for all those uh, people out there, pick up your pens, the red one, and oh. your uh, oh. your pads. Uh, oh. I have uh, two. They can't win this week. I'm saying they can't win, so they, they probably will. Oh. Tassie <laughs> knows it. You know them. Jappery and shell shocked. They won't oh win. This week. I'm not backing them. So, you know, that people might want to put their money on. Yep. Wow. <laughs> to it. Yep. The, the two I'm favorite sorry. horses. So <laughs> these are straight from the tone South Australian stable. Uh, they are, Taz, and I'm not on. I'm staying way, way, way away. Jappery is a professional place getter, and shell yep. shocked always gives me shell shock because it never wins. So. I'm, I'm out. Oh, I reckon Barney's buying new shoes back in them. Ha <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, Barney, hopefully we buy the new pair of shoes this week. And uh, as I said, Tassie, good to see you, mate. Uh, you had a tough week with the fam, but uh, you know, yep. um, it's good to see that you made time. Thanks, mate. Sorry, bud. Keep it, trying to get you away from your fam. And and uh, Tone, you've been kicked out tonight like Ty Orchid. After a same game multi in the NFL, and uh, oh, yeah. you made up in the floods, I hope you clean it up, Calvin. Uh, hopefully, when you come back, we're uh, all on fire like we were yesterday. And um, thanks very much. See you later, boys. Thanks, Mato. Bye bye. Thanks, boys. Always a See pleasure. You. Thanks, boys. Yep. See you guys.